name is Kevin Hart. I was born and raised in the city of Philadelphia. What's my passion? I'm making people laugh. Because I believe the laughter heals all wounds. I mean, it's one of the things that brings us as people closer together. You know what's funny to me? That as a kid, I used to tell jokes on the steps. Look at my stage now. As a comedian, we don't get these opportunities. If you don't take advantage of them, they're gone. see a bunch of pointless fire. They're laughing. I'm not playing. I'm dead serious. You think it's a game? Let me explain. So, I mean, clearly, man, it's been the last two years of your life. It's been overwhelming. I mean, you're, 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 doing, you're doing arenas. Selling out arenas multiple days. You are um, fast becoming the you know highest grossing comedian for shows. I'm sure the 20 million dollar movie is next. You know when the whole Martin and Not gonna sound it. yeah, hello, Some words sound yeah. Not gonna sound it. But that, I mean that's real because it happened to Martin. It happened to Chris Tucker. It happened to all the you know the greats of their time. And you're one of the greats of the time. How does it feel, man, to have this kind of run happening? Uh. Dude, amazing. I mean, you know, I think it's uh, it's, it's past the word run. You know, it's it's being consistent is is the best feeling ever. Right. You know, I think when you when you talk about the past couple of years, it's you know not only being relevant and 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 being something where or not something but being a product where you're actually becoming a brand to where you're not just around for a second and going. You know, you're multitasking. So. Right. You know, me doing stand-up and, and touring, that was one element, you know, then being a comedian and going into to television is another element. Taking television, going into movies is another element. So finding a way to multitask and keeping a clear level here while doing it, you know, it's, it's, it's the best feeling ever because right. you, you're focused. And that's what I realized that I am. I'm focused. Yeah. Uh, eyes are on the prize and uh, that, that prize is a huge prize. If, if achieved, you know what I'm saying? If, if that goal is achieved. So right now, man, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm in a great position and I, I surround myself with great people that can help me accomplish the goals that I've set out to, to basically obtain. And it's, it's amazing um, to touch bases on the point of doing so many things at one time, but then doing that many things well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something to be said about your character and who you are and obviously whom you put around you to help you, you know, accomplish these things. But how, like, fun has it been to be able to go and do the, 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 the stand-up, which is your passion, and then come down to Atlanta and shoot, ride along, and, you know, go to New Orleans and shoot, you know. So it's, it's like you're doing all these things. And you're fitting it in your schedule. You're making it work. How does that feel? Dude, uh, once again, amazing. But more importantly, I'm having fun. Yeah. You know, I think I think when you love your job, uh, it's it's a it's a different type of vibe that you have when you're going to work. You right. Know? I love what I do. I love the fact that I I get paid to make people laugh. I have a genuine love for making people laugh, for being entertainment, uh, bringing that to the stage and. You know, being in an arena where you got 15, 17,000 people and they're quiet because they're listening to your jokes. And Every word. It's hanging on. Everybody just, just waiting. That means that, you know what? What I've, what I've put my heart, blood, sweat, and tears into is not only paying off, but my fans are growing with me. Right. So now in return, yes, stand up is going great. So now, like you said, then I go and I start doing these movies. But then in these movies, I'm teamed up with amazing producers, amazing directors who are who are talented enough and, and know enough about the business to say, we want to get the best of Kevin Hart, so we want you to bring some Kevin Hart to what you're doing. I have fun being Kevin Hart, so now that I get to incorporate pieces of me in these films, it makes work that much easier. Right. And, 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 you know, from my, from my 
the, the, the cast members, you know, that I've got a chance to work with. Like you said, right along, me and Cube, man, I mean, I met Cube years ago, but then working with Cube now, you know, the relationships that you build when you're around these other actors, Lawrence Fishburne, I mean, amazing, dude. Uh, Robert De Niro's Vesta Simone, I did a movie with them, Grudge Match. Uh, Think Like a Man 2, you know, same cast, we all come back. Set fire to these bitches, it's, Kevin. It's, Set fire! It's ridiculous, dude. I mean, you literally, I am, I am having fun. I'm having fun, but I'm, I'm growing. I'm right. growing in the business of entertainment. Right. You know, my, my professionalism is, is continuing to, to, to grow and, and, and has yet to peak. You right. know, I'm becoming a business, yeah, which, which eventually is going to, is that's going to be something else that, that takes up a lot of my attention, a lot of my time. So, right. you know, as I, as I go and, and walk in this world of, of entertainment, I'm opening up so many doors for myself. Right. To, to basically say, okay, I don't have to just do this. Yes. I can multitask and do so many things and be respected for so many things. And when it's all said and done, people say, you know what, that guy didn't take his opportunity for granted, put Absolutely. a lot into it. And I, and I, I want to applaud you also for taking your team along, man. I mean, it's so hard because it's physically, you know, uh, we're, we're physically unable to do it when we're starting out. You can't just take everybody everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But you have really brought your crew along with you for Same the ride, guys. man. Same guy, start to finish, man. Yeah. Uh, from comedians to to friends that are now co-workers. You know, uh, I, I've, I've started Heartbeat Productions, which of course is my company where, you know, we self-produce and, and do things that are Kevin Hart based. Yeah. It's my last two stand-up films were all produced and funded by my company, which Love is me. So, you know, you take these guys who started out just being around because they were your friends and you put them in positions of power but you make them learn and respect those positions before they before they before they basically embrace them right. so you know before you get paid to do things that you can't get paid to do learn shadow people Absolutely. and you know I had uh, Harry and Wayne you know shadow people Joey shadow people um, you know Naeem and Spank those are comedians that have traveled with me from from the beginning you know when I was doing these comedy clubs mainly Naeem Spank came on a little later right. but now that it's gotten bigger and the tours have gotten more massive they've grown they've, they've been around so long that when I'm done and I'm I'm not touring I'm doing other things these guys now have their own stand Careers, plastic with, cup uh, boys and do the plastic cup boys, but it's a brand yeah. that we've built. So I love the fact that I, I can see my friends support the people around them. You know, Absolutely. they're supporting their families, they're supporting themselves, they're they're moving on to becoming men. I think that's when you really can, you know, stick your chest out. It's not about what you have; it's about what you built around you and what the people around you now have and what they're doing. So I think that's definitely something I'm most proud of, man. And I love the fact that my friends don't take it for granted yeah. and they don't. Put me on a pedestal. It is, it is no Kev, we kiss your ass because you're Kevin Hart. Yeah. No, we're, we're equal in our eyes. And I think that's why we've gotten along the way we've gotten along. And I think that's why we got to this level of success because right. there there is no elephant in the room at any time. That's right. We can call each other on the shit. And the Wayne still cuts us. you off when you're talking. All the time. All the time. <laughs> the only difference with Wayne is he lost so much weight so we can't call him. I, I didn't recognize him as that. That's the only thing. That's, and I, and that's a little pissed off because a lot of my insults started with Wayne. Your fat ass either, and I can't anymore. Like he stops me. Let's just stop it. It takes, your yeah, it takes my, it takes my, my steam away. I think that's, I think another, uh, you know, attribute for you, man, or uh, a compliment to you is, you know, I think it's a testament of measure. Like uh, Sidney Poitier had the book um, Measure of a Man, mm -hmm. and in the book, you know, he talked about his experience and how he went through a business and. You know, inner racism between, you know, black people when it was a really oppressive era, you know, when white people were racist. Mm -hmm. But he was talking about how he was coming up in this era, you know, era because he was getting parts and because he was doing good, other black people were hating. And I think, man, you know, in the comedy game, you know, I don't really remember a rock star other than Eddie Murphy. How is it amongst your peers? How do you, how is that? Is the yin yang there? Is you know what it is, man? I mean, of course you're gonna have, you're gonna have negativity with any positive thing that happens. You know, right. it's 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 all on you on how you take information that, that that's received, you know? Right. You can always hear what's bad. It's your choice if you let the negativity things that you hear affect you. Affect you. Everybody says something bad. I'm quite sure you got people say, man, I heard Kenny was X, Y, and Z. It's all about how you take it. Yeah. Now you can be a person who let it bounce off your shoulders and laugh. 
or you can be a person like, no, no, I need to find out who said this. I'm gonna address this. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I don't give in to that. You know, um, I think as a comedian, what we should all respect, you know, as comedians, is the fact that one man's success has nothing to do with the next man. Absolutely. And and that's something I learned at a young age. You know, what what one man is doing has nothing to do with you. His journey is completely different from yours. Right. But what we have to understand is that these doors that these comedians have opened, when you talk about Murphy, when you talk about Pryor, you talk about the kings of comedy, you talk about uh, Epps, Cat Williams, you talk about Chappelle, Lawrence, Tucker. I mean, this is just strictly on, on the urban side of what I'm naming. You still got Carlin, you still got Seinfeld, you still got um, Jeff Foxworthy in the White Collar Tour, uh, uh, the blue collar tour. Um, I mean, the Jeff Dunham. I mean, I can go down a right. list, a no list of people. I'm a student of comedy. All of these people have succeeded in so many different ways because there's room for everybody. It is. There's no room for negativity. Yeah. There's room for everybody. Now, now your peak may not come at the same time that another man's peak, but if you stay true to what you believe, it's going to come. Absolutely. So that's that's why you know with within the whole quote unquote comedic rock star thing that I'm trying to build, you all I'm it. doing is is saying, you know, when Murphy did it, man, Murphy was cool. It wasn't just the funny guy. Yeah. You want that motherfucker's cool. Right. Eddie, 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 fly shit. Yeah. That's what you did. You looked at him and said that. So with me, within our generation, I'm, I'm trying to be a representation of that. Absolutely. Comedy's cool. Absolutely. Yeah, we funny as hell, but it's cool to laugh. Don't feel like you got to hide laughing or, or be be bougie about laughing or look over your shoulder because you're laughing too hard. God damn it, Kevin Hart said it's fucking cool to laugh. Right. <laughs> that's, I think that... That, that's where the fire and all that stuff came from. It's bringing flair yeah. to comedy, to yeah. our generation of it, man, and just and really trying to trying to open up those doors, you know, for more opportunities, you know. Yeah. Now that was my last tour. What is this one? Man. What the hell am I gonna do now? Yeah, what are you gonna do? I, know, I, I have no idea, man. But I love the fact that I put that pressure on myself. Yeah. You know, it's okay. This is the level that I've done all right now. I've done this. What next? And I have to continue to get better because I got a fan base now who eventually is going to judge. Yeah. Right, Cap? No, we love you. It's been funny, but you better come with something that's better than what you came with the last time. We don't want to keep seeing the same jokes. We don't want to see the same stuff. That's why I put that pressure on myself. What's going on? This is Kevin Hart. And guess what, people? This is my portrait.